Now I made this short little animation clip so you could uh, stop and pause and read what you need to do, what they require, at least the Wyoming DEQ required uh, for doing a perk test. So uh, you just have to drill the holes and fill it full of gravel and water and measure down from the top and measure. We, we did our measurements every 15 minutes, marked it down and just keep doing it until it maintains a certain level. What a perk test does is uh, let them know how large a leach field you need to make on how how big a leach field you need uh, depending on how much water drains into the field uh, and how many bedrooms and bathrooms you're going to have in your house. They also wanted a, a visual of our well and how far it is from the leach field. We have a, I have a 300 foot uh, tape. It came to about 340 feet from the well to the center of our leach field. They also wanted a measurement to the road from the leach field, which is about 100 feet away. They don't want you driving on it or parking on it or anything. And we also had to dig a pit so they can see the topsoil and the gravel and the dirt and sand, whatever. I had to dig like 10 feet in the hole there so they could see that. we got this thing set in place ready to bury got all our deals the clean outs poking out of the top of the ground you can see our septic tank the top of it's going to be about three and a half feet buried so uh, we got uh, just a uh, coming in temporary I mean far enough to where we can 
cover it up and going out we got it temporary to where we could fill it up I put it just a clean out cap on there didn't glue it on just keep dirt out but we're gonna get ready to uh, go this direction at the end here for our leach field Okay, we got 36 of these leach field chambers. Gonna have to have four trenches, nine per trench. Nice snowy weather now here in Chugwater. But I had to strap them together to keep the wind from blowing them out to the interstate out there. All them all here with the old black sheep from Cheyenne. But uh, yep, got them all out here dig a bunch of trench holes uh, put these things in the ground well it's springtime in the Rockies again yesterday April 9th 70 degrees today April 10th about 20 degrees got hit with another bomb cyclone and uh, it's a good thing we got quite a bit of work done uh, the last couple of days on the little house out in Chugwater but uh, anyways, uh, just want to give you some updates on what we did. Uh, fighting these, this weather is just something else. Okay, I hope you like our uh, videos we've been showing you on our front 45. Uh, the reason I call it the front 45 is because we don't have the back 40. We got 45 on the front. So I hope you enjoy some videos from our property that we've been doing around our place in Wyoming.